Okay, so basically, this is going to be an added excerpt from the audio file with the uh, perps that I had uh, been hanging out with one of these particular uh, evenings that I was in my partying and drinking days. Uh, there's a guy that was in the background. Actually, there was a few other cats that were in the background, and two of them didn't really say much. You know, it, it was almost, it felt like if I was being observed from a distance. I mean, yeah, they smiled, they laughed, they did certain things, but they were mostly watching the whole battle and hearing us and stuff like that. So I wonder about that. But, uh, I mean, it could be that these people were just there and they just happened to be part of the little group that happened to be drinking and, you know, what have you. But for some reason, being that I've discovered that I am one of the MK Ultra uh, trauma based experiments that have been going on since I was pretty much a child, then I can only wonder who one of those or two of those people really were, who they were, you know what I mean? Who they were affiliated with. In any case, uh, I noticed during the course of time and, you know, I didn't even realize it was being recorded. I had forgotten about it because I was, you know, drinking and whatnot. And I finished, you know, battling with the other guy that was a perp there. Uh, you know, I was just observing and I looked around and I saw one of them had a skull and bones shirt, you know, the uh, pirate symbol or the Los Angeles Raiders symbol. Uh, a lot of people don't know and aren't aware that that comes from a thing called Golgotha back in the Bible. Golgotha was the place where they hung Jesus Christ in the cross, the place of the skull and bones. That's what literally Golgotha means, the place of the skull and bones, which is connected to uh, the secret society at Yale. That's why they're, you know, satanically inspired by that. And they kind of uh, spinned off of that and called themselves the skull and bones through, you know, that's part of a uh, fragmented or segmented reason behind the name you know in any case i realized that and i had you know jokingly asked him hey man you know i said it in like in a joking way you know so you're down with the skull and bones or you know and you'll hear as he says no this what i'm not you know this is uh just uh it doesn't mean anything and i said no so you know I, and i went of course uh i kept like trying to get it out of him and he never really said much but he said a few things and he did acknowledge the fact that it meant something with death, which is the Brotherhood of Death. The um, Skull and Bones uh, Secret Society at Yale is also known as the Brotherhood of Death. You know, the poison symbol. That's another uh, way we're conditioned in uh, society with that symbol or the sigils, S-I-G-I-L-S, because they're also called sigils. That's how they uh, get you to remember things through your subconscious, through these symbols. Um, in any case, I'm going to put the clip now and you decide, you know, what you feel that may have been. It may have not been anything to some people who aren't aware, aren't targeted individuals like myself, but people who are TIs, real TIs, and uh, know what I'm talking about when uh, you have perps around you wearing certain color codes and pattern codes and symbols like the skull and bones are dead giveaways. Uh, sometimes for how these people kind of uh, pick each other out and let each other know, you know, that they're a part of the cause and that they're, you know, what they're working towards as far as like, you know, when they're around the target, the people can identify each other. It's almost like an undercover cop being able to identify another undercover cop, you know, wearing the color of the day. So, or a gang, you know, member recognizing another gang member who happens to come in prison and he throws his colors down to let him know that he's a crip or he's a blood or he's a whatever, Latin king. You know what I mean? These are kind of similar in the way of them being able to put these uh, messages out there, you know, in a nonverbal way. All right. So basically, this is the uh, auto clip coming up now. With the skull and bones. This? No. What's the skull and bones? You. Me? Yeah, sure. What do you mean? Sure. That means anything. What does it really mean? In Germany. Yeah. 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 Yeah.